This is once again Ted the Speed Learner, and I know I have not done a lot of stuff with accounting. As a matter of fact, I haven't done anything with accounting for a long, long time. And the reason for that is that with certain subjects, I've had to literally go back to practical elementary school to teach people certain things. Um, I have found that with computer tech and with mathematics as well. I was really kind of surprised at some of the things I've had to deal. But anyway, it is time to go back to accounting and time to go back to that kind of things that I'm supposed to be doing here on this YouTube channel. And tonight we're going to talk about the sum of the years digits depreciation method. This is a method that is not used too often anymore. Uh, at least I just don't hear of it very much anymore. Uh, I'm sure some people still use it, but to me it just kind of seems silly. But let's just go into it, shall we? I'm going to turn the camera around just a bit here. Let's say you buy a $30,000 car. Now this is something that I doubt you would do yourself. I mean, you probably would buy a thirty thousand dollar car, but I don't think you'd use this method to depreciate it. it just wouldn't happen. You, you're going to own the car for the next fifteen years. Now that's kind of a stretch for a car, but let's just say you do. All right. Now, how do you depreciate this car using this particular method? Well. You're going to own it for 15 years, so you count, start counting backwards from 15. Isn't that stupid? Alright. So you got 15 plus 14 plus 13 plus 12, da 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 all the way down to 1. Okay, so now you've written all the numbers from 15 to 1, counting backwards. So you add all these wonderful numbers. And when you add 15 plus 14 plus 13 plus 12 plus 11 plus 10, so on and so forth, all the way down the way to 1 you will get a total of 120. It would be like somebody bringing you, what, let's just say for 15 days, somebody was bringing you a bag of apples. The first day they bring you a bag of apples, they got 15 apples in there. And then the next day they bring you a bag of apples, and they got 14, bags, 14 apples in the bag. And then the next day they bring you a bag of apples, and only 13 apples in the bag. And eventually they get down to the last day, and they bring you one apple in the bag stupid. So in the end, after 15 solid days, you end up with 120 apples. That is, you keep them fresh. I would keep them in the refrigerator if I were you. But, there you go. Anyway, now how do you do all this depreciation? Well, you take the $30,000. Let's say this is the first year you're going to depreciate the car. You're going to show the true value of the car um, at the end of the first year. So you got to take the $30,000 you're going to multiply it by a fraction, which is 15 divided by 120. Well, if you take 15 and you divide it by 120, you're going to come up with 0.125 or 12.5%. So you multiply $30,000 times 12.5% and you get whatever it is that you're supposed to get, which, happily, I do happen to have this trusty little calculator. Now, I know I could probably do this in my head, but I'm not going to do that because I am too tired tonight to mess with it. So, $30,000 multiplied by 12.5, well, let's see. I have a super scientific calculator here. Bear with me, folks. So, basically, you're going to take, write this down here, $3,750 off the value of the car. So basically you're saying after you do this wonderful little calculation that the car is worth $3,750 less than it was when it when you bought it brand new. Okay. So we go on to the next year. We're going to say the car was originally worth $30,000 and we're going to multiply it by 11.6%. How do we get 11.6%? Well, we divided 14 by 120, and so therefore we get another number right here, and I'm going to let you calculate that number and leave it in the comments section below, and then you'll take that as your depreciation off the car. Again, you got $30,000, you're going to divide it by, you're going to uh, sorry, you're going to have $30,000, you're going to multiply it by 30, well, you're going to multiply that $30,000 by 
okay? And you get that by dividing 13 by 120. And so you figure out whatever it is that the car is depreciated. You can leave that down here in the comments below. I want you to. And so on and so forth until you completely depreciate the car. I don't know about you, but I think that's about the dumbest, stupidest way of doing something. I know that there are some people that say, well, there's some tax advantages to it. Maybe there are. I don't know, and I don't really care. That would be one of the hardest things to do in the line of calculating a depreciation. Okay? So, anyway, let me know what you think. I personally think it's stupid, but that's my opinion. To each his own. So, now you are familiar with the sum of the year's digits depreciation method. Hopefully you enjoyed the little presentation. You now have a pretty good idea how it works. I will tell you more in a future video. Stay tuned.